Good work. Looks like you're getting the hang of this. Before we go any further, I should inform you our acoustic detective system does have potential side effects. For example, you may start hearing voices as the test continues. There's nothing to worry about, I can assure you. When the exam is finished, depending on the outcome, we'll provide any additional treatment you might need. Now on to the next scenario. To further test your abilities, we'll try a higher profile case. One I'm sure you remember from the news. The bombing that occurred last year at the Central Booking Complex downtown. A gruesome tragedy in a crowded police station. Twelve people, twelve victims. Now, what's your take on this? Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Name? Dwight. Yeah, let me check here. They have case. Is that? Ah, no can do. Your phone's evidence in an ongoing case, so eh, you'll have to follow procedure. But they're mine. All right. What do I need to do? Who told you to come here? Ask them to write you a release form. An officer named Jessica. I need to go back to her. <laughs> officer Schrader. You working the night shift tonight? <laughs> well, what a surprise. <sighs> I don't even have to this bust you. Ridiculous. You still end up here. What do you do this time? You wound me. I'm nothing if not a law abiding citizen. Excuse me, officer. Sorry to have to bother you again. Come on in. Uh, the desk sergeant wants a release form. Can you help? I'd really appreciate my things back. No problem. I'm almost done. You're lucky you aren't being booked. But you still gotta fill this out. No! For crying out loud, it's not like I went on a killing spree. There! Ta-da! Signed and dated. Can I leave now? Mm-mm. You two, we're going to reception. Glad to see you. Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey, Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? You think you're Daddy Warbucks? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, to your left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know any better. Whatever, Mickey the Sea Monkey, was it? Did you bring money for his fine? That I did. Right here. I need your signature. And try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Thanks, Emil. I'll see you around. Keep up the great work, rookie. <laughs> Cassidy, burning the midnight oil, I see. And, wow, who do we have here? Oh, shut up. I, uh... Never mind. Who the hell's calling me at this time of night? Cassidy, take our friend here to the interrogation room. I've got to answer this. On it. You, phone, wallet, everything in your pockets on the desk. 
Here's my phone. You want to pack me down, too? Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You get him back when you leave. Doug? Just came back to bring Sting in. Why are you here? No, we should talk now. I'll come find you. I'll take it from here. But Captain Martin told me... Like I said, I'll take it from here. Mm, understood. Let's talk in my office. Take a seat, please. Now, what the fuck are you doing here? That idiot Blade hit a cop car, and that buffoon Martin arrested us. He's just trying to give us a hard time. Martin's always been trouble. You think he heard something? Not that it matters. I've got everything under control. Picked up Sting and Kent to clear the way for you to take over. Who'd have thought, huh? All three of us in the same police station. Those two behave. Sting didn't even try to run. Sounds just like that old fox. Kent? Kent. He... He couldn't run even if he wanted to. What do you mean by that? I went to the Mountain Hotel earlier to case the place and found Kent in a VIP room. Sucker was already three sheets to the wind. Saw an opportunity, so I had him booked for public intoxication. No shit. Huh. Why'd Kent get there so early? You think the boss told him before the rest of us? I didn't see anyone else there. What's your boss look like? Huh. Nice try. Only us three have ever seen our boss in the flesh. He likes to keep a low profile, you know? I wasn't trying to trick you. Just curious is all. Yeah, but something's off. I've seen Kent drink for years, yet I've never seen him drunk. Not even once. Looked pretty sauce to me. Didn't even wake up on the ride over. Must have had himself a whole bottle. Or five. Yeah, well, this guessing game won't get us anywhere. You keep an eye on those two there, will you? We can't let anything go wrong now. I'm gonna go see the boss. Okay, I'll see you out. Back, my test came back clean as a whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Drunk or not, you still hit a government. Are you here? You seem to have this Why are you here? here? Hello, Sergeant. May I? Okay. Jesus, phone is ringing. Oh. Off the street, you do. He is when once. Mountain Hotel. What are the odds? What's that drunk look like? Like any other dirty drunk. Had himself a good limp though. Oh, poor. I've sent someone in a stall. What are you guys trying to pull, huh? I mean, setting up roadblocks and arresting people for no good reason. Tucker gave the order earlier today. He didn't explain anything, and I had no idea he was trying to catch you. What's this Tucker up to? Now that you mention it, Tucker has been acting strange lately. Before he brought you in, he was up at the Mountain Hotel, picked up a drunk. Guy's still lying and holding. Mountain Hotel? What are the odds? What's that drunk look like? Like any other dirty drunk. Had himself a good limp, though. His leg, was it prosthetic? And uh, did he have a scar on his right eye? And how do you know all that? You know the guy? Interesting. Doug's behind this, no question. Doug? Why's that? Earlier today, our boss informed us he was going to choose his successor. Only me, Doug, and Kent have a shot, really. Now, Doug asked Tucker to lock me and Kent up. It's so obvious. He wants to make sure he's the only candidate. Damn, you're telling me that drunk was an underboss? He took a bullet for the boss, 
And that's how he lost his leg. That prosthetic leg of his, that was a gift from our boss, too. Got anything else for me? I gotta get to that hotel. Actually, there is something else. I just heard from Martin that it's highly likely Raven's about to resurface. Raven? Get out of here. If Martin said so, there's got to be some truth behind it. You've heard of Raven, too? Only rumors. Word on the street is Raven kills anyone who gets a look at his face. Once he's made enough money, he runs off and gets himself a new identity. <laughs> no one even knows what he looks like. Holy shit! That's cold, man! Don't tell me you're Raven. If I was him, you'd be the first to go. <laughs> Just cut this bullshit and get me out of here. Come on. But what am I gonna tell Tucker? Uh, let me worry about him. Let's go. Whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Drunk or not, yeah. you still hit a government Why are you beer. <laughs> Not that it matters. I've got everything under control. Yeah, I might make some phone calls. Doug, why is that? Earlier today, our boss informed us he was going to choose his successor. Only me, Doug, and Kent have a shot, really. Now, Doug asked Tucker to lock me and Kent up. It's so obvious. He wants to make sure he's the only candidate. Damn! You're telling me that drunk was an underboss? He took a bullet for the boss. That... Oh, what are you in for, huh? Oh. Take a seat, please. Now. What the fuck are you doing here? That idiot Blade hit a cop car, and that buffoon Martin arrested us. He's just trying to give us a hard time. Martin's always been trouble. You think he heard something? Not that it matters. I've got everything under control. Picked up Sting and Kent to clear the way for you to take over. Who'd have thought, huh? All three of us in the same police station. Those two behave. Sting didn't even try to run. Sounds just like that old fox. Kent? Kent. He... He couldn't run even if he wanted to. What do you mean by that? I went to... Anybody here? Anybody still breathing? Today. Damn. You're telling me that drunk was an underboss? He hey, come on! ...meeting with all of his associates up at the... Hitting a police car? Did it ever occur to you that it might blow your cover? I had to act fast. The info I've got is crucial for my investigation. Raven's going to show up tonight. What? All right, I want you to tell me everything. I'll send someone to keep Doug busy. Conference room. Go in there and stall him for as long as you can. Conference room? Why? What did he do? Car accident. Fake car accident. Only it didn't seem so fake to him. And I need you to keep it that way. Do whatever you need to do, just don't You let go him first. Leave. Roger that. Word on the street is Raven's in town. So everyone stay vigilant. Raven? I don't have all the info, but I'll fill you in once I have more. All right, I've sent someone in to stall Doug. Now tell me what you know. But make it quick. That car accident you staged? Won't buy us much time. Yeah, Doug was already getting suspicious. Okay, how much do you know about Raven? I've heard all sorts of things. Some of them are so Hollywood blockbuster, I'm not sure what to believe anymore. I've been undercover as part of his organization for two years. Everything you've heard about him is true. After he pulls off a major heist, he wipes out his crew and gets a new identity. Remember that cargo freighter? The one that blew up in the harbor? Raven's doing. Got what he wanted, murdered his guys, and scuttled the ship with a remotely detonated explosive. All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. That explains why I can't find a single person who knows what this psycho looks like. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be able to positively ID Raven if he was standing right in front of me. But if this precious pattern of his means anything, we might have a chance of nabbing him tonight. 
He's made himself nothing short of a fortune running the rackets in this city the past few years. So when he calls a meeting with all of his associates up at the Mountain Hotel, I'm guessing he's looking to tie up loose ends. Even if he claims it's to pass on the Empire to one of his lieutenants. No wonder Doug's throwing a hissy fit about getting up to that hotel. He wouldn't miss this get-together for the world. He's been wanting more territory for a while now, and he thinks he's got a shot at the crown. That's why he's so anxious. The rest of the underbosses are probably headed there as we speak. Raven's supposed to show up later. You don't think by any chance that Doug is Raven? I don't think he is, but I can't say for certain. A lot of guys will be there. Any one of them could be him. If we sweep up the whole group, we can sort him when we book him. I guess we'll see. Okay, you head up there with Doug. I'll put together a squad to back you up. Got it. Now let's make this real. Fucking cops! You ain't got shit on me! DUI! My test came back clean as a whistle. You again? That's got it. Drunk or not, you still hit a government Why are you vehicle. To have this place are to you here? In. evidence in an ongoing case. Yeah, let me check it here. Theft case, huh? Uh, no can do. Your phone's evidence in an ongoing case. So, uh, you'll have to follow procedure. But they're mine. All right. What do I need to do? Who told you to come here? Ask them to write you a release form. Me? Yes, there's men in the conference room. Go oh. The government. Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Public intoxication. Beautiful. Why'd they even bother? Ah, uh, shove it already. Just open the gate. Well, let's try to limit our alcohol next time, maybe. I didn't even have that much. How come I passed out? Somebody slipped something in my drink. I still feel groggy. Yeah, yeah, I've seen plenty of guys like you, all claiming they didn't drink that much. <laughs> Sure, I'll bet you were totally dry in college or whatever. Having trouble walking straight. Ooh, legs a bit heavier than I remember. See, more proof that you shouldn't drink in your condition. This way, let's get you released. For a fact, my test came back clean as a whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Drunk or not, you still hit a government vehicle. Yeah.
Cater. You working the night shift tonight? Well, what a surprise. <sighs> I don't even have to bust you. Ridiculous. You still end up here. What do you do this time? You wound me. I'm nothing if not a law-abiding citizen. Just picking up a pal like a good friend. Well, hey there, Captain Martin. What are you doing here? Got something to take care of is all. Well, I'll be. Blade and Doug, how's life treating you guys? Shut it, you dumb fuck. Don't act like you know me. You two, phones, wallets, and whatever you have in your pockets on the desk. Relax, Raider. We had a small fender bender. They're accompanying me so we can sort out the details. Hi, Officer Schrader. You don't think you could ask around and see when Chip's gonna get released for me, do you? Oh, so you own the place now, do you? Find out yourself. Mickey! Glad to see you! Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? You think you're Daddy Warbucks? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, to your left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know any better. Whatever, Mickey the Sea Monkey, was it? Did you bring money for his fine? That I did. Right here. I need your signature. And try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Thanks, Emil. I'll see you around. Keep up the great work, rookie. <laughs> Dr. Cassidy, burning the midnight oil, I see. And, wow, who do we have here? Oh, shut up. I, uh, never mind. Who the hell's calling me at this time of night? Cassidy, take our friend here to the interrogation room. I've got to answer this. On it. You, phone, wallet, everything in your pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. You gonna pat me down, too? Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You get him back when you leave. Don't think that's a bad thing, you know. Why are you here? No, we should talk now. Word on the street. I'll come find you. I'll take it from here. But Captain Martin told me... Like I said, I'll take it from here. Hmm, understood. My office. The customer you're trying to reach is not available. Please call back. God damn it. Who are you calling at a time like this? Answer the fucking phone. Why'd they even bother? Oh, shove it already. Who's coping this big? Well, let's try to limit our alcohol next time, maybe. Uh, Sorry about that. It's fine. You stole that guy's phone. It was something else. Something else? I'll show you something else. Uh, look at me, Chip, and tell me. What's a phone to you, huh? 
This phone ain't worth squat if you're gonna just sell it. It's the mobile era now. A phone's more than just a phone, it's access. Access to the owner's... Ah, never mind. You're too stupid to understand all that. Where'd I tell you, huh? There's my money! Oh, Mickey, you're the man! I'm learning all sorts of new techniques tonight. Go on, then. Give it a try. We've got a phone right here. I've got this! Huh. Weird. He's only got one number saved. Who cares? Just dial it. Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Name? Dwight. Yeah, let me check you. They have kids. Uh, in! <laughs> All right. Okay. Please have my phone. Okay. Well, oh, I need to go back. Well, what a surprise. <sighs> I don't even have to bust you. Ridiculous. You still end up here. What do you do this time? You wound me. I'm nothing if not a law abiding. Citizen, just picking up a pal like a good friend. Well, hey there, Captain Martin. What are you doing here? Got something to take care of is all. Well, I'll be. Blade and Doug, how's life treating you guys? Shut it, you dumb fuck. Don't act like you know me. You two, phones, wallets, and whatever you have in your pockets on the desk. Relax, Schrader. We had a small fender bender. They're accompanying me so we can sort out the details. Hi, Officer Schrader. You don't think you could ask around and see when Chip's gonna get released for me, do you? Oh, so you own the place now, do you? Find out yourself. Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Name? Dwight. Yeah, let me check you. Theft case, huh? Ah, no can do. Your phone's evidence in an ongoing case, so eh, you'll have to follow procedure. But they're mine. All right. What do I need to do? Who told you to come here? Ask them to write you a release form. An officer named Jessica. I need to go back to her. <laughs> officer Schrader, you working the night shift tonight? Well, what a surprise. <sighs> I don't even have to bust you. Yes. What do you do this time? You wound me. I'm nothing if not a law. But... Excuse me, officer. Sorry to have to bother you again. Come on in. You help. I'd really appreciate my things back. No problem. I'm almost done. You're lucky you aren't being booked. But you still gotta fill this out. No! For crying out loud, it's not like I went on a killing spree. There! Ta-da! Signed and dated. Can I leave now? Mm-mm. You two, we're going to reception. Mickey! Glad to see you. Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Here, yeah, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? You think you're Daddy Warbucks? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, to your left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know any better. Whatever, Mickey. It was just a car accident, Captain. Did that really require bringing us all the way in like this? I got somewhere I need to be. Yeah, are you picking on Doug? 
Quiet, both of you. I'm doing this by the book. And now that we're back at the station, I'm going to make you take another breathalyzer. We blew with the scene, and it came back negative. What more do you want? You going to let us go or not? Congratulations, loudmouth. You're up first. Follow me. You, stay right here. What were you thinking? Hitting a police car? Did it ever occur to you that it might blow your cover? I had to act fast. The info I've got is crucial for my investigation. Raven's going to show up tonight. What? All right, I want you to... Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Name? Dwight. Yeah, let me check, too. Theft case, huh? Ah, no can do. Your phone's evidence in an ongoing case, so eh, you'll have to follow procedure. But they're mine. All right. What do I need to do? Who? Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Are you done? It was just a... Just picking up a pal like a good friend. Well, hey there, Captain Martin. What are you doing here? Got something to take care of is all. Well, I'll be. Blade and Doug, how's life treating you guys? Shut it, you dumb fuck. Don't act like you know me. You two, phones, wallets, and whatever you have in your pockets on the desk. Relax, Schrader. We had a small fender bender. They're accompanying me so we... Mickey, glad to see you. Officer, nice... Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Here, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Toothy woman. Only with a side. Right for the truck. Did you bring money for his fine? That I did. Go around. Keep up the gr See? I. Uh, never mind. Uh, hey, burning a minute. I try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Keep up the great work, rookie. <laughs> Doctor Cassidy, burning the midnight oil, I see, and... Wow, who do we have here? Oh, shut up. I... Uh, never mind. Who the hell's calling me this time of night? Cassidy, take our friend here to the interrogation room. I've got to answer this. On it. You, phone, wallet, everything in your pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. You might have had me down, too. Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You'll get them back when you leave. Just come back to my thing. Why are you here? If you just don't... You Word on the street is, Raven's in town. So everyone stay vigilant. Raven? I don't have all the info, but... Thank you. See? This here's a phone I stole on the bus. I don't get it. You call me... Phones. I realize... I It's raining cats and dogs outside. Let me call us a cab. Just a sec. All right, should be here in a few minutes. Now, you gonna tell me what's going on? I was at the Mountain Hotel when I saw that chump hanging outside. Stole the phone right out of his pocket. Didn't realize that lady cop was standing there watching me the entire time. You Ow! shit for brains. How many times I gotta tell you? You can't make banks stealing phones. Well, I just thought, you know, Practice makes perfect. Unbelievable. You really are a moron. Ugh, whatever. Look here. I'm gonna show you something. See? This here's a phone I stole on the bus. I don't get it. You call me stupid for stealing flip phones, and then you steal one yourself. <laughs> that piece of shit probably ain't even worth ten bucks. Wait and see, my friend. Wait and see. Hey, 
buddy. Oh, come on, it's me. Don't tell me you don't recognize your old pal. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, you gotta help me out. I'm in a real bind. Got arrested. Solicitation, yeah. Long story short, was on a business trip and got a little antsy. You know the feel. Uh, keep this between us, though, will you? I called because you're the only one I can trust. You gotta help me. Cops asking me for a grand to make this whole thing go away, else I'll be processed first thing in the morning. My own money? Think I have any? A dirty cop took my wallet. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here talking to you, now would I? Anyway, you need to wire the money to my friend's bank account. 165-987-2626. Name's Mickey. Ocean. Yeah, I like the sea. Uh, you'll be doing me a real solid. A real solid. And I'll pay you right back as soon as I get out. 1,300 big smackolas. The extra 300's for your trouble. Uh, nah, nah, don't mention it. Friendship's worth its weight in gold nowadays. Uh, anyway, old copper's back. Catch you later. You really think it'll work, Mickey? He totally bought it. Patience, my friend. Patience. We'll get the money soon enough. Oops. Sorry uh, about that. It's fine. Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Name? Dwight. Yeah, let me check it here. Theft case, huh? Uh, no can do. Your phone's evidence in an ongoing case, so uh, you'll have to follow procedure. But they're mine. All right. Ask them to write you a read. Wound, Martin? What are you doing here? Got something to take care of is all. Well, I'll be. Blade and Doug? How's life treating you guys? Shut it, you dumb fuck. Don't act like you know me. You two, phones, wallets, and whatever you have in your pockets on the desk. Relax, Raider. We had a small fender bender. They're accompanying me so we can sort out the details. Hello, Sergeant. Did you bring money for his fine? That I did. Right here. I need your signature. And try to work. Wow. Who do we have here? Well, get ready. No. Ah, uh, binder. Got something to take care of, is all. Well, I'll be. Blade and Doug? How's life treating you guys? Shut it, you dumb fuck. Don't act like you know me. You two, phones, wallets, and whatever you have in your pockets on the desk. Relax, Raider. We had a small fender bender. They're accompanying me so we can sort out the details. Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Name? Dwight. Yeah, let me check it here. Theft case. Hello, Sergeant. Pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. You gotta pat me down, too. Tucker handled that already. Just to that fake car accident. Only it didn't seem so fake to him. And I need... Well, let's talk later. See you at the meeting. Uh-uh. Hey, babe, you knew. Jess, I'll take it from here. But Captain Martin told me... Like I said, I'll take it from here. Hmm, understood. Let's talk in my office. Take a seat, please. Now, what the fuck are you doing here? That idiot Blade hit a cop car, and that buffoon Martin arrested us. He's just trying to give us a hard time. Martin's always been trouble. You think he heard something? Not that it matters. Remotely detonated explosive. 
All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. That explains why I can't find a single person who knows what this psycho looks like. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be able to positively ID Raven if he was standing right in front of me. Yeah, Doug was all Doug. Now tell me what you know. But make it quick. That car accident you staged won't buy us much time. Yeah, Doug was already getting suspicious. Okay, how much do you know about Raven? I've heard all sorts of things. Some of them are so Hollywood block. You think he heard something? Not that it matters. I've got everything under control. Picked up. I missed the phone call. Honey, a dirty cop took my wallet. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here talking to you. Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Ellen Chen. I didn't even want to press charges. But you brought me in anyway just to hit me with some outrageous fine for petty theft. You broke the law. What? Doesn't surprise me that you're a rookie. No one else about it. I had something like... Shut up. I... Uh... Just a sec. All right, should be here in a few minutes. Now, you're going to tell me what's going on? I was at the Mountain Hotel saw that chump hanging outside. Stole the phone right out of his pocket. Didn't realize that lady cop was standing there watching me the entire time. You Ow! shit for brains. How many times I gotta tell you? You can't make banks stealing phones. Well, I just thought, you know, practice makes perfect. Unbelievable. You really are a moron. But I'll fill you in once. It's just you and me. This shit probably ain't even worth ten bucks. Wait and see, my friend. Wait. <laughs> you know for a fact my test came back clean as a whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Drunk or not, you still hit a government vehicle. Yeah, I like the sea. Uh, you'll be doing me a real solid. A real solid. Ellen <laughs> Chen. Officer Schrader, you working the night shift tonight? Well, what a surprise. Huh. I don't even have to this bust you, ridiculous. you still end up here. What do you do this time? You wound me. I'm nothing if not a law-abiding citizen. Just picking up a pal like a good friend. Oh, hey there, Captain Martin. What are you doing here? Got something to take care of is all. Well, I'll be. Blade and Doug, how's life treating you guys? Shut it, you dumb fuck. Don't act like you know me. You two, phones, wallets, and whatever you have in your pockets on the desk. Relax, Raider. We had a small fender bent. Bring me so we can sort out the details. Hi, Officer Schrader. You don't think you could ask around and see when Chip's gonna get released for me, do you? Oh, so you own the place now, do you? Find out yourself. Be glad to see you. Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Here, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? You think you're Daddy Warbucks? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, to your left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know any better. Whatever, Mickey the Sea Monkey, was it? Did you bring money for his fine? That I did. 
right here. I need your signature. And try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Thanks, Emil. I'll see you around. Keep up the great work, rookie. <laughs> Docker Cassidy, burning the midnight oil, I see. And, wow, who do we have here? Oh, shut up. I, uh, never mind. Who the hell's calling me at this time of night? Cassidy, take our friend here to the interrogation room. I've got to answer this. On it. You, phone, wallet, everything in your pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. You gotta pat me down, too. Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You get him back when you leave. All you need to do, just don't. You go first. I'm. What are you guys trying to? It's just you and me now, Sting. What are you guys trying to pull, huh? I mean, setting up roadblocks and arresting people for no good reason. Tucker gave the order earlier today. He didn't explain anything, and I had no idea he was trying to catch you. What's this Tucker up to? Now that you mention it, Tucker has been acting strange lately. Before he brought you in, he was up at the Mountain Hotel, picked up a drunk. Guy's still lying and holding. Mountain Hotel? What are the odds? What's that drunk look like? Like any other dirty drunk. Had himself a good limp. Well, his leg, was it prosthetic? Yeah. Hello, Sergeant. What, what the you got? Wallets and whatever you have. So. Nikki! Have the paperwork, Schrader. Nikki! Glad to see you. Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, now beat it. Hitting a police cop. Crucial for me. All right, well, somebody unspeaks that word. All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen this. As we speak, so we can sort him. I'll put together a squad to back you up. Got it. Now let's make this real. Fucking cops! You ain't got shit on me! DUI? You know. Here, call. Why are you here? What do you do this time?
Did it ever occur to you that it might blow your cover? I had to act fast. The info I've got is crucial for my investigation. Raven's going to show up tonight. What? All right. I'll... Hello, Sergeant. Head oil. Cassidy, take our friend here to the interrogation room. And I need you to keep it that way. Do whatever you... Well, let's talk later. See you at the meeting. Both of you. Sounds loud mouth. You're up for he Then cap. This by the way. When is this gonna be over? I ain't got all day. Our friend here to the interrogation room. I've got to answer this. On it. You, phone, wallet, everything in your pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. You want to pat me down, too? Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You get him back when you leave. Hello, Sergeant. <laughs> 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 No. Hello, Sergeant. May I please... Hello, Sergeant. Hello? What was it? Did you bring money for his fine? That I did. Right here. I need your signature. And uh, Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Anyways, you gotta help me out. I'm in a real bind. Got arrested. Solicitation. Yeah. Long story short, was on a business trip. Trip and got a little ants. See, you know the feel. I keep this between us, though, will ya? I called. Since you're the only one I can trust, you've got to help me. Asking me for a grand to make this whole thing go away, else I'll be. Processed first thing in the morning. And I'll pay you right back as soon as I get Never mind. Where'd I tell you, huh? There's my Damn, money. Damn, Mickey, you the man! I'm learning all sorts of new techniques tonight. Go on, then. Give it a try. We've got a phone right here. I've got this! Huh. Weird. He's only got one number saved. Who cares? Just dial it.
I went to the Mountain Hotel earlier to case the place and found Kinta in the VIP room. Sucker was already three sheets to the wind. I think the boss told him before the rest of us? Yeah, something's off. I've seen Kent drink for years, and I've never seen him drunk. Not even once. Trouble walking to me. Ooh, legs a bit heavier than I remember. Remember that cargo freighter? The one that blew up in the harbor? Raven's doing. Got what he wanted. Murdered his guys. And scuttled the ship with a remotely detonated explosive. All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. Oops, uh, sorry about that. Just that guy's phone. Something else. I've got this. Huh? Here, he's only got one number. Something. Who cares? Just dial it. He's made himself nothing short of a fortune running brackets in the city the past few years. So he calls him all of his associates up at the Mountain Hotel. I'm guessing he's looking to tie up loose ends. I was at the Mountain Hotel. I saw that shot outside. Stole the phone right out of his pocket. Didn't realize that lady cop was standing there watching me the entire time. Goddamn, who are you calling at a time like this? Answer the fucking phone. I see. Does it strike you as odd that these situations seem to be full of coincidences? Sorry, I meant great job. You're progressing through these examples at a steady pace, but I knew you could crack them. All right, on to the next one. Tell me, detective, do you enjoy the theater 